The FiberTac speed bridge with a medial pulley ripstop uses the knotless 2.6 FiberTac RC anchor. This anchor is available with a tensionable knotless mechanism, which can be interconnected, providing additional compression on the medial row of the FiberTac speed bridge. Once the fiber tape sutures are passed through the tendon, load the single end of a FiberLink suture into the Scorpion suture passer and pass the FiberLink suture through the tendon lateral and outside to the fiber tape pass. Using a suture retriever, retrieve the tail of the FiberLink suture through the anchor insertion portal to improve the shuttling angle. Retrieve the three sutures of the tensionable knotless mechanism from the anterior fiber tack through the lateral portal. Load the sutures through the loop of the FiberLink shuttle suture and pass the FiberLink suture through the rotator cuff, leaving the sutures parked out of the anchor insertion portal. Pass the three sutures from the posterior fiber tack anchor through the rotator cuff using the same steps. Using a suture retriever, retrieve the posterior repair suture and the anterior loop end of the shuttling suture through the lateral cannula. Load the repair suture through the loop, folding at the purple mark. Pull the suture tape tail of the anterior shuttle link to shuttle the repair suture into the knotless mechanism. Repeat the previous steps using the anterior repair suture and the posterior shuttle link to interconnect the two anchors, completing the medial pulley ripstop. Tension the two repair sutures to reduce and fixate the tendon down to bone, creating a medial seal. Cut the repair sutures flush to the rotator cuff once adequate fixation has been achieved. Once the medial pulley ripstop is complete, the fiber tapes will be fixated laterally with trusted swivel lock anchors. This will create a ripstop effect between the fiber tapes and medial pulley, helping to distribute forces across the rotator cuff. This completes the FiberTac speed bridge with a medial pulley ripstop.